Hello procrastinators and welcome to Nerd Cubes the Alpha Detective. Today we will be investigating Plague Inc. Evolved and to do so I need to talk about uh, this game but also two other games because Plague Inc. Evolved is a port from a free-to-play mobile game onto Steam. The free-to-play mobile game being Plague Inc. You've probably heard of it, 10 bajillion people have downloaded it. Uh, it's a free-to-play mobile game with microtransactions. This is a full big version on Steam with prettier graphics and that's pretty much all I've seen added at the moment that costs £12. An extortion in my opinion because Plague Inc. the mobile game is essentially a clone of Pandemic 2 which is the completely free browser game that I'll link in the description for you to play and enjoy. Um, and I genuinely mean free, that's just a completely free game. It's the one where you can build a virus and destroy the world. Well that's what this is. But it's just the same. Like, this £12 game is just the same. So I've, I've actually, I bothered to get the mobile version because in a weird thing, that's essentially a finished version of this. Because this is on early access still, which means most of it just isn't here. It, bizarrely, most of the things that aren't in this are the stuff you have to pay for in the mobile version. Because it's got some bitchy fucking microtransactions in there. Like, just... Just let me pay for your game at the start. I don't mind paying for a game at the start of a game, but when I click the fast forward button and it goes, oh, you have to pay to unlock that, you can fuck off. You can fuck off so hard because I don't know what you're going to add later on down the line. I can't go, oh, I'll pay to that because that's now the game paid for. How do I know? How do I know? Because at the front of this, it's like, oh, unlock the full game now. But that doesn't pay for everything. There's still stuff you can unlock, you have to pay for and can unlock with money. Microtransactions irritate me. Everybody knows that by now. I'll stop harping on about that. So this is a full version. Essentially, probably, if you bought all the microtransactions, it would come to £12. Actually, probably a little bit more. Uh, let's go through some of the new features they've added. Multiplayer. Oh, I can't because it's early. Uh, single player. Well, they've got these new bits in the single player. They've got speed runs. Can't show you those because it's early. Official scenario. Can't show you those because they're early. Customs. They can't, again, it's... It's an early access game, but it's kind of not because I've already played it. And I've already played the finished pandemic and the finished plaguing. So... I'm going to be... I'm kind of pissed at this game, to be perfectly honest. Just go... I, I've played a few goes through of it, and I'm really pissed off with it. Because it's adding nothing. Like, I, I, I get really annoyed. Like, because a clone that adds a few things and does a few interesting twists on stuff, I'm like, oh, that's... Good. Like, you know, sometimes you get those sort of things. You're like, oh, that's genuinely interesting. You've done something interesting there, and I, I like it. This is essentially, like, a tiny expansion pack. Uh, it's it, The thing it does vastly improve is the graphics. Of, that's the thing, of course it improves. That's the thing you can put in your screenshots. But it doesn't really add much to the gameplay. So let's go think, oh, it looks some pretty graphics. You pick your type of virus like you do at the start of the other one. There's more, but they probably, I don't know, do, they, do I have to unlock it? Oh, you have to win on the game types. I think that one's not done yet. Yeah, that one's not done yet. So you have to win some stuff to unlock them. And there's, there's it's just that sort of thing. You can unlock stuff. These are the things you can buy with microtransactions to speed unlock or whatever in the actual game. Not this game, the mobile game. This has no microtransactions. Uh, let's go continue. So this is this is one of the things they genuinely have added. Um, so you can modify your genetic code. So you can add some stuff that does things. So there you get bonus DNA bubbles and more DNA bubbles. And basically just things to make the game slightly easier. Uh, it, it's just those sort of things. In the game, again, that's one of the things you unlock. That comes with the paying for fast forward access. You get to insert those things. You can unlock them, but you can't use them. Ha! <laughs> Um, so I could do fuck all with this because I haven't unlocked any, uh, I don't think I've unlocked any. I don't think I've actually won the game yet. No, I haven't unlocked any of those yet. Um, so yeah, they just make the game slightly easier. This is essentially the window that they've changed the most things in. Like, adding these things to the start is pretty much it. Uh, you can choose the game difficulty, we'll just play on normal. Uh, you can name your plague, I called the last one PA because I'm not a particularly big fan of Penny Arcade. Um, also it just said pack, so I deleted it and then got bored. Uh, let's call it, um, let's not be funny. Let's call it... Yex, because I like the name Yex. It's a fun. I don't know. I just hit some random letters on my keyboard. Play. Welcome to Play Gink. Row. So this looks a little familiar. Like quite a lot familiar if you played Pandemic Two. Uh, <laughs> really. So basically, you gotta choose where your virus starts. It doesn't just randomly happen. So you can pick fucking Madagascar if you wish. Which yes, is still a bitch in this game as well. Uh, oh, on this one you get to Sony Zoomy Inny map. Like that. Oh, zoom in. Slightly laggy today. Don't know why. Early access, early access, early access. You can also click and drag around, or you can use with sad if you like having fucking whiplash. That is really laggy for some reason. Probably just fraps recording it. It's not normally that laggy. Uh, right, so we'll start in the UK, because fuck those guys. You click that thing, and now we have begun. These things pop up. If you click these things, you get more DNA, which is how you customize it. This is another thing they added. 
but they shouldn't have in this version because they have that to the mobile version because mobile versions are very tap friendly. It's sort of tap. That's why Godos is such a pile of ass because it's tap, 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 tap. But in this, you don't. I've got a mouse. I don't want to be budging that around the screen and clicking stuff. It's sort of. It's a, especially when the size of the mouse go over there. So, they, as much as they've added all this nice, oh, you can zoom in and see a really low textured bit of the universe, there's nothing really to do because you want to stick out here because when the virus starts spreading, you've got to be tapping yourself around the place. I do apologize. The, the judderiness isn't in the game. I will point out that that is just a problem with the recording, it seems. It does say it's recording at six. Oh, no, it's jumping around the place like a good one. Uh, that is perhaps his fault. So now we wait. Let's speed the game up. That doesn't cost any money on this. Yeah, some stuff happens. So stuff happens and then that. These are the ones you have to tap, tap. You know, they don't come up too often to be annoying, apart from when you start spreading around the place. Um, so my single strategy in this game, which is the exact same strategy that I've always had, is just let the virus sit there and wait. Just get your disease up and then just go thump and then win. And nothing really changes beyond that point. That They claim the game is hyper-realistic and everyone's... That even is the CDC have got, oh, it's hyper-realistic, well done and stuff. But really, you, I've just not had any trouble just not really much trouble. I did, The reason I didn't complete the mobile game was because I got bored because I couldn't fast forward. The reason I haven't completed this is because I got bored because I've played it a thousand times before. Time passes! Right, so as some time has passed... Oh, a tsunami hits Norway? I don't think they're very tsunami heavy over there, but alright. Um, yeah, so basically I'm just now waiting for this. It's got to sort of the level where I would start mutating it. Um, but now it's just the, the lovely waiting game of going, oh, now, and then you get to upgrade it. This is all very pretty, but completely pointless, because all the information's over here, and then it budges over there. Uh, so you can change how it transmissions is. So you just evolve air and water, and then you go to symptoms, and you go, oh, no, hang on, abilities, and you go resistance to drugs, uh, and then you sort of just... What else we do? Rats, let's evolve. Let's screw up rats, because fuck rats. No one cares about rats. Then we close it, and then we wait, and now it'll start exploding a little bit. Yay, that'll happen. And then you'll see a little red plane will fly out at some point. Oh, come on. A little red plane will fly out somewhere, and it'll be like, hey, it's a red plane. Oh, well, maybe not. There he goes. Now I've infected over there. So, yeah, see, whenever it's infected somewhere, you have to click the bubbly pop thing. It's not really adding gameplay at all. If you miss it, you're just losing out on disease. It feels really... It feels really arbitrary. I see why you do it, just to keep someone tapping on the mobile game, just to keep their screen on. Which is why people have to tap on mobile games, just to keep people's screens on. That's what I've always thought. Is that true? That's why I always thought people kept you tapping, was so you keep your screen glowing. Because if you're just sitting there watching something happen, like this game's good for, you wouldn't do anything like that. But, oh well, they kept it in this version anyway. So stuff's happening. Stuff's happening. And we're just sort of waiting now. Not really much to do. Uh, it's... Whoops, a daisy. Especially considering I've played this a few times. Like, it's very much a drop in, drop out game. Like, I've never really had any. Oh, I'm more infectious than Total Biscuit. That's nice. I've never really had any sort of, like, urge to play this a trillion times. It's like, oh, I'm playing this a bajillion times. Doesn't really happen like that. Um, there are some nice stuff, like, they added these things that flash red and occasionally change picture, and you're like, oh, that's okay. I've infected a lot of people now. So, yeah, then, now I'm just I'm collecting my disease points up again. And then if it gets to enough places before it gets spotted, I go, now it's deadly! Because, and then you win. And that's it. That's the whole game. There's the scenarios and stuff. Um, ah, I don't know. May maybe at some point the scenarios and mods and things will be interesting. Oh, look, it's mutated something without me having bothered to spend it. That's nice. Maybe something interesting will happen. Oh, look at that. There we go. The disease has been spotted. Dun, dun, dun. Like millions of people are infected with it already. Yeah, maybe at some point you'll get this... I don't know. I'm kind of... Yeah, whatever. Get a cure. Good. They're going to start making the cure now. The disease does nothing. That's the thing, is you just got to kill everyone at some point. You go, expand, expand, expand. It feels sort of out of control. Even if you sit and try and play everything properly and try and spread to the places, that means that there is a good country to start in and a good strategy to take, because it'll always happen the same way. No matter what you do, it'll always happen really the same way. Apart from, like, the very few little things that change. So, there's there's pretty much a set strategy to this game. It's like a single puzzle. Really? I mean, that's that's sort of how the, the pictures game. I like Pandemic, because it's like you can go in when you're fancy and just play a little game of. But, I don't know, I've never really bought a Steam game to, like, jump into. Have I? I don't know. Oh, look, you can the map over here is going fizzy. Oh, it's fizzy, but I could lose my DNA points, so there's no point in going in on the map. Uh, oh, look at that. I've got loads of disease points. Right, let's make this thing a bitch. 
Ah, uh, no, that's symptoms. I don't want to give it any symptoms yet. Let's make it, like, super resistant to all the drugs. Now let's make it resistance to heat and cold. You really don't need to do much more than that to affect the entire planet. Um, transmissions and stuff. Birds can spread it and mosquitoes and sheep. Blood's kind of unnecessary, so I won't bother with it. Uh, and we'll sit on the rest. Let's make it slightly more resistant to drugs. Boop. Right, come on. Keep giving me stuff. New, new places infected. Uh, you can click the world thing over there and you can see what's been infected and stuff. It's all very pretty. But it's still the same. Like, it's just like it's coloured in. That's all it is. It's sort of like play, uh, Pandemic 2 was black and white and this is all coloured in. No, you can look at graphs if you fancy. I don't know what that graph would tell you or why you'd want to look at it, but you can. I never got graphs. The only time I ever look at graphs in games is like when you win a real-time strategy and you just look at that point where you decimated every fucker and you're like, hey, there we go. You've raised the threat level for my thing. Good. Well, I've infected you and I've infected you. Where else do we have to infect? I've been placed on a watch list. I want an achievement for that. So, you know, I, I want a few of them. So I was going on. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's more infectious than the common cold. We infected you. Lots of pausing the game to click on stuff. Like, like, seriously, this is, this is one of the things. Oh, this is another thing. You have to click the blue ones or, you know, the thing happens. Weird. You can pause the game with space. A lot of games do space for pause. Space is either pause or jump. I hate jumping on space because it's slightly imprecise. Because it takes a long time to click it down. I much rather something like Zed. Just in case you're a game developer. There you go. Uh, unless you're controlling it with the mouse. Whatever. I don't know. Uh, smash that thing or the cure will happen. Ah, right, let's be really resistant to the cure to fuck everyone over. Um, what's this? Oh, I have to click them, don't I? More work to do to develop a cure. Decreases further research speed. Ah, let's go for the... Make the cure harder to get. Make the cure harder to get. I don't need to kill anyone yet. It's sort of pointless. There you go. The cure is harder to get now. Whoop, whoop. Now you fucking run away from me, bitches. Uh, how's the world doing? There's still some happy countries, but there's lots of sad face countries. Oh, there we are. I just haven't really got around Africa yet. I could just turn the heat up, I suppose. There's that one there. That's a bitch. And Madagascar, which everybody knows is impossible. Seriously, a thing that became a meme from the other game is still in this game. It's like, you gotta change that slightly. Oh, there we go. I got Madagascar. Fuck you, Madagascar. But uh, what's ever good to ever come out of Madagascar, apart from that one film, but I can't remember what it's called. The film about Madagascar with the animals and the guy from Friends. Same Bright Ryan, that's it. What's happening? Third something. I don't know. There's a lot of clicking. There's so much stopping and clicking. I just want it to be over. I want it to go quick. I can zoom in. Ooh, I didn't know I could zoom in with that. Oh, I nearly missed the thing. Why would I zoom in with that? It's 25% complete. Woo! They're developing a cure for a disease that doesn't do fuck all right now. Does it? Oh, I th oh no, it does. They added stuff to it. Randomly got mutation-y things. Uh, you can be slightly better at being in warm places. There you go. That's gonna get her through there a little quicker now. Uh, right. The cure will never happen. Oh, there we go. That's infected, infected, infected. La 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 la. Da, 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 da. Diseases everywhere. Gonna murder humans. But it, this is Bender's favorite game. That's generally it. Oh, squish the disease. Squish it. Squish the cure. There's an anarchist bombing Mexico. Sounds fun. Uh, yay. Everything goes all red and it's like, oh, stuff's happening and then... It's not really good. It's not, I just want to point out that it's not the whole countries yet. That was something that annoyed me about Pandemic 2, but I could see why, because it was a Flash game, like they had whole sections. This sort of tries, but seriously, look at, look at the layouts for these. Like, that's Spain, France, Germany, that's just Central Europe, Italy. You're just there going, some, there's some countries, like, where does Belgium and the Netherlands in between France and Germany? What happened? What kind of weird place is this set in? Uh, have I infected the entire world yet? I have! Oh, there we go. Now I can start killing everyone. Uh, now, yeah, that's still what you do. You just go, right, how do I get to the death to everyone bit first? What's that? Uh, can that kill everyone? That's a, that's a thing. I can't, but uh, there we go. It's an infection. Evolve that. Coma. Boom. There we go. Oh, we still got more DNA. How much does that cost? 30. One more DNA point and I can cause rapid death. Which is nice. Oh, come on. Research is starting to stow. One more point. Smash your bottle of death. The first death. Oh, <gasps> took long enough. It's been two years. Come on, you should have developed something by now. Bloody Jenny McCarthy. It's all Jenny McCarthy's fault. Wait, I got my one point. Right. That's not where that is. Why do I try and click up there? Because that's how we close the thing. That's where it is in my brain. I just want to close this menu down. Right, okay, right. Everybody dies now. Kill them all. Just do it. Stop pausing the fucking game and kill them all. Thing. Yeah, I know this stuff happening. Just put it in the fuck.
fucking corner. I don't care if I kill more people than the Black Death. Put it in the fucking corner. Oh, I kill more people than Spanish flu. Go me. Jesus Christ. Yes, the cure is nearly complete, but everyone will be dead before it's done, probably. I'm more infectious than smallpox. Way. If you follow the blue planes, you can smash the stuff before it happens. If you don't, you get more cures. Just bloody busy work. I like sitting here and just watching it happen. Who am I playing as? Because, like, I thought you were always playing as, like, the virus, and you were, like, the virus shitting everyone up. But you're not. You really don't play as that anymore. Because you're smashing bottles and doing weird shit. Now, hang on a second. I'm going to get massive disease resistance to piss these guys off. What's that? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You can't. You just, no. Just no more. Smash. No more. Is everybody dead yet? People are dying. Oh, it stopped being infectious. Oh, man, I'm not going to infect everyone. I thought everyone was infected. Oh, every country was infected. Oh, well, doesn't matter. They'll die of something at some point. Smash. Let's make it more infectious. Can I make it slightly more infectious? Uh, let's make it transmission through sheep level two. I can also do blood. Oh, there we go. Blood to blood contact with all the dead people everywhere. That might help out. Come on. Kill everyone. Kill everyone or I'll be really bored. Stop smashing. What am I smashing? Seriously. Set for, you'd just give up, wouldn't you? 5.7 billion dead, you'd be like, ah, fuck it. Uh, yeah, anyway, the people who won't be infected will have a cure. Because I killed everyone a little bit too quick. Because I made everyone lapped into a coma and their tissue essentially turn into jam pudding. Which is never a winning combination if you've got a night out planned. Uh, smash the thing, smash the thing. Yeah, you're doing a great job on that cure. Who is still alive? I don't know. Ooh, look, it's a barren wasteland. Why have all the buildings cracked? It's been, like, not that long at all. Like, really not long. Uh, come on. Come on, just die. Could everyone die? Just kill at least six billion and I'll be happy. I'll be happy with around six billion. That'll be a good number. No. Fine, I'll just sit here and wait. On full speed. That you don't get, remember, if you're playing the free-to-play game. Um, <laughs> sorry. I, I, I gave away to this game going, hey, that looks like it, that game, I wonder what they've added, and then got really pissed off that added nothing, and then took it out on them in a video, which is always fun to do. Uh, come on, fly your, this is the last plane flying. No, why do you need to fly back and forth? Skype probably still works. Microsoft are evil enough to survive the apocalypse. Jesus, how many people are alive in these places? There are no people left alive in USA. There are no people- Oh, there's a few people left in Australia, so that's a reason to fly to Australia. But hang on. Now they're all dead. Australia. Oh my god, everybody's dead. They're not gonna get cured. Oh, that's why, because look, they've got some- Hang on. I'm so confused with- Where's just the alive people? Infected and dead. Where's alive? Is it just the blue bar? But I don't have a number for the blue bar. Oh, I have to click that. Alright, fine, never mind. Oh, what the fuck? Sorry. No, Australia is business as usual. Uh, okay, Australia, I don't want to point out, I know you're slightly out of touch over there, three feet from the surface of the sun and attacked by giant spiders every day, but six billion people are dead. Just kind of wanted to point that out. Uh, what's everybody going over here? Central Africa? Oh, they're, out there. we're having a lovely time. So basically, all the really hot countries survived. That, there's probably a lesson in that somewhere. That if you want to, if you want to survive, go to a really hot place. There we go. Uh, East Africa is bombed areas with high infection. Okie dokie. Well done, East Africa. Good, good for you. That's clever planning, that is. Come on. And again, it's, this is the other problem with this game, is it doesn't end. And when you've got a... Normally, I'd, at this point, I go, oh, it's not going to happen, and then I'd restart. But if you're trying to get, you know, some unlocks and stuff, play through, you got to play through achievements and stuff, you got to wait for it to go down, and it takes forever. There's a bird. I don't know why there's a bird. Yep, just fly between these two points. Africa is known for scientific accuracy. <laughs> Jesus Christ, come on. Just die already. Just all of you die. People are getting more infected. We're getting more infected, people. How is that number going up? It's because I started spreading it through blood. So that's just going to gradually take down. Oh, no, thank Christ. They're going to start healing everyone. Oh, good. I don't have to wait too long. Smash. Come on. 100%. Cure the world. What? Oh, good. Now everybody's getting diarrhea. Fuck it. One last shit on you. <laughs> One last massive shit. There you go. The world has survived the apocalypse. Yay! With everyone almost dead, the survivors will find it hard to rebuild civilization. You're never doing that. You're never rebuilding civilization. Ever. Ever. You're just not gonna do it. It's just never gonna happen. The infected are dwindling! Oh no! 
it's over. We're done. Yay! I killed some stuff. Oh, look at that. I, I, I've I been destroyed by... There you go. Destroyed by humanity. Oh, good. We can now watch a replay in, like, the same speed we played the game at. If that's something that entertains you. Yay. All right. Here's a thing. Let's play a game of Pandemic 2. Okay, so Pandemic 2. Uh, this is... Um, strange to do this, but I, I really just have to show just how identical these games are. Like, because normally with a clone, I go, look, this is a game that's kind of similar to this one, but you can see the differences. It's literally the same, but with a few more options in each section. Just a few more options. Let's start a new game. Uh, so you get your difficulties. The other one had four. This one has two. Uh, we'll go for the realistic one. Select a disease class again, like the other one. Again, that had the other one had more. This one has a few. Uh, and then you go, yes. So you can still name your disease. And then click done. The, it, it misses sort of modifying it with the traits and stuff. But if I'm rightly, that sort of... Does that randomly happen? I cannot remember. Oh, I started in Madagascar. Mm, 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 mm. Uh, it's quite difficult to go from Madagascar, but it's a good it's a good way to begin. To the disease menu. Again, it's all on one screen in this one, though. There's no giant bits taking up useless space that you don't need. You have uh, all the symptoms that you can get. you got the resistance you can build up. But the other one had the same symptoms, but just a few more. The same resistance, but a few more. Same transmissions, but a few more. The same traits, but that's the, that's the window that changes. But a few more. You know, it's it's... It's basically an expansion pack, but it's a different game. It's such a fucking bizarre situation we found ourselves in here today. Uh, right, so let's speed time up. Whoa, that didn't cost anything. Uh, like, and it's exactly the same in the game. So when you've got, you get your DNA points come in, they come in a lot easier at the start, and then they'll they'll get harder and harder to to spread around the place. So we just got to wait for the boat. It's always what's good about having starting in Madagascar is you don't need to have the. Um, you don't need to have the... What's the phrase I'm thinking for? I've right-clicked. I've proved it's in Flash. You don't need to have the... Uh... Oh, sorry. You can upgrade everything but the boat. As long as you don't upgrade water travel, your disease will sit there and sit there and sit there. And then you can go and spread. And then, uh, well, if the boat ever bloody leaves Madagascar. Uh... Da -da -da -da. Right. We're just going to... I'm going to sit here and wait for the time to tick by. Uh, time ticks by sort of faster, I believe. Hang on, that's hours. Slower, because the other one ticks by in giant days. This is more of an, a smaller scale spread. Also, it starts in 2008. When did the other one start? I can't remember. I know if you start in the UK, it's like, oh, the Olympics has been cancelled. And they're not saying why. But, what, four people have an illness. And All right, never mind. Uh, so we've infected 62. 70. Oh, it's expanding. They are expanding. Uh, just sit here and wait. Again, just clog my diseases up. Time passes! Yeah, so, Madagascar's kind of fucked now. <laughs> More than half of them have fallen the way of the X virus. Uh, what I've done is I've taken away the sneezing to make its visibility invisible. Uh, it actually costs money to remove them. In the other game, it actually you get money back for selling the bits. Which doesn't make sense, because removing them means it's less visible. So any of the random ones that crop up are actually become just free money instead of this where they would become hindrances because you want to be sneaky and stealthy and then get it out there and then start killing everyone uh oh madagascar started shutting down public transport right let's make it waterborne and airborne and insect and rodent uh, do we have any more air points yes we do let's make it happy with heat because it's going to be probably going to australia uh and oh we can't get that can we get moisture oh we can't get moisture are they all three? Oh, sorry eight three eight Yep, alright, now, ship it out, boys! I just scrolled down slightly. Ignore that! Ship it out! Ship it out, they've shipped it out. Alright, people are starting to die. Yep, that's that's Canada. Oh, how did Canada get it first? Oh, poor Canada, you always get everything first, including Justin Bieber. Now everybody shuts down, you get, like, the breaking news coming along, so you can slow it down and have a bit of a read. Be all like, I oh, shut this up massively. Um, because look, also, they've- China has- Oh, no, China's massively infected. No deaths yet, that doesn't matter. It's, it's when you don't want them to shut their ports down before it gets there. Like, for the, the games of Plaguing I played on my phone and the other one, I've not actually had a point where I died at all. Like, it never got to the point where I'd, like... I, I managed to get into every country. I never had that issue. I never had to watch it carefully and, like, wield on a boat. Uh, so this is a slightly harder game in that effect. See? Greenland shut down and fucking nothing. No one got infected, so I'm not going to be able to complete this. Uh, oh, and they found the vaccine. They found the disease already? But it's got no visibility, man. Okay, I should start killing everyone soon. Uh, right, what have we got? What are we going? Let's just wait for it to tick up my diseases. Mmm, diseases. I'm infecting the world, Ma. Uh, well, most of the world. Australia. I'm infecting Australia. <laughs> Suck it, Australia. You screwed me over last time. So yeah, like everything's divided up into slightly smaller bits. On like the last one, it was slightly more. Only slightly more though. There's like a few more points. 
Um, which generally helps with the spreading of everything, so they're all dead. I do like that it's a lot easier to see what's dead in this one. In the other one, they got like the red spots and stuff, but you're never quite sure where the country lines are and stuff. This is a lot easier. You know all that's fucked. Uh, that's probably not. Australia is. New Zealand is. That doesn't look like it's... Oh, no, that is generally. It's just a lot of people in there. That's screwed over. Greenland is gonna stay green. Ass nuggets. Uh, how's, how's America do? Oh, South America, you are doing well. Peru and Brazil and us. Well, could somebody sneak over from over here? Mexico people, could you get in there? No? Bastards. Um, <laughs> get in there. Right, let's just infect everyone. The cure, how's the cure doing? Uh, the cure, it's, oh, fuck, it's, Jesus Christ, I wasn't even slightly paying attention to it. Kill, kill all humans, kill all humans. Uh, I would like to buy fever. And I would like to buy Fever T2. Uh, there we go. We've given stuff like that. Oh, this nausea. Oh, I have to pay to unlock Tier 3, and then it gives you a random one. That's how they do that. Oh, they didn't give me a random one. Oh, they gave me that one. Oh, bastards. I don't have enough evolution points to buy these things. Oh, I do. Okay, which one kills humans? Hypersensitive. Is it that one? Wait, do you kill humans? Uh, sharp decline in motor skills? No, that's rubbish. Oh, kidney failure. Damn it. Customize 22. I don't have 22. Okay, I need 22. Give me 22 so I can kill you all before you start healing. God fucking damn it, gotta pay attention to all this stuff. Um, yeah, so that's the one thing the other game has on it, is all the information is there, so you can just look at it on your single screen and not have to go into the menus, which are essentially pointless. Um, no! The humans will survive! I don't know why they're all panicking, the disease does literally nothing at this moment in time. Yeah, okay, okay. They're still vulnerable. Oh, <gasps> yes! It didn't work! Yes! Fantastic! Okay, that's great. Boom. Did that yeah! Okay. The disease needs work. Fantastic. That happens sometimes. They're like, we got a thing. Oh, it didn't work. You think you'd test it. Uh, ne never take drugs from the government, kids. Oh, but the disease isn't spreading, so I'm not going to get any more DNA points. No. I'm not going to be able to kill anyone. Oh, my God. I suck at this. <laughs> uh, I should have. I should pay more attention. See, this one I feel like I have to pay a bit more attention as well. Even though the other one's supposed to be hyper-realistic. Like, if the other one's hyper-realistic and this one's not, then we're fucked as a race. Like, we're just, we're just dead. We're just, we're just a genetic straight line at this point. Just one thing hops on, it's like, oh, you're all dead. Uh, right then, yeah, okay. Well, we've, we've killed, we've killed most of the planet. Well, we've infected them with a disease. What have they got? I don't know what they've got. they got nausea, dementia, and fever. Okay, fever, so everybody's crazy, forgets a whole bunch of stuff, and throws up everywhere. So essentially, the entire world is now Las Vegas. And with that, I will leave you. Thank you very much for watching. Play Pandemic 2. Don't really play the other one, even the mobile phone version, because it's just this, and this is completely free. Thank you very much for watching, and to ra Enter the domain of the nerd cube. Videos dropping from above like bird poop. Enter the domain of the nerd cube. Videos dropping from above like bird